All right, so before we start this video, I want to thank you guys for helping me reach 500 subscribers. This is an absolute amazing milestone in YouTube. I never imagined I was going to get this far, so I'm very grateful for all of you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications down below so you never miss, miss another video. Also, join the Discord. I have a link to the Discord in the description below. Anyways, let's get on with this video. So there are two main builds you want to have when you're doing a raid. There's a build when you're doing Buddha raids, and there's a build that when you're doing any other raid that's not a Buddha raid. As you guys, as most of you guys know, Buddha raid is the hardest raid in the game currently. So the build is going to be a bit different if you're going to be doing a raid like Flame or Dark. Alright, so let's start off with the build if you're doing a Buddha raid. First, obviously the fruit you're going to want to have is a uh, Buddha fruit. You can do this unawakened or awakened, it doesn't really matter. It's preferably awakened because you have a bigger hitbox and you take less damage. Accessory, um, I recommend the Lay over the Ghoul Mask. Firstly, Lay gives really passive regeneration. So you don't even have to be doing any damage to regen with Lay and it's 50% fa uh, faster than if you weren't using it. So overall, you will gain more health if you're using Lay compared to if you're doing damage when you're using Ghoul Mask. Now the race, it kind of varies. The number one race you probably want to have when you're doing a boot raid is obviously Ghoul because you have lifesteal with your um, M1 attacks. But if you do not have Ghoul, I recommend Mink or Fishman. Obviously with Fishman, you take a lot less damage and with Mink, you're very fast so you can get around to all the places pretty quickly. As for the melee style, you're going to want to use Sharkman because it's the fastest hitting M1, uh, M1 melee style in the game. So you're going to want to be using that if you want maximum damage. And for sword, um, I recommend a mobility sword like Yama, Jite, or uh, the Spiky Trident because you want to be moving around fast, obviously, and you're kind of slow when you're in Buddha form. So you need something that helps with mobility. So that's basically the build for uh, Buddha Raid. Now let's move on to builds for any raid that isn't Buddha. So for any raid that isn't Buddha, you, obviously the fruit you're going to want to be using is Buddha Fruit. Doesn't really matter, awakened or unawakened, both are fine. Melee style is the same. You're going to want to be using Sharkman Karate because of the, obviously of the fast M1s. For the accessories, I recommend two accessories, either the pilot helmet because of the really fast speed or the lay if you want to stay safe and have that really good health regeneration. But if you don't know, Pilot Helmet also does give some health regeneration. So I do recommend Pilot Helmet if you're going for a fast raid. For swords, I recommend a mobility sword just like the other raid. You want to be using Jite, Spiky Trident, or Yama, obviously because they have really good mobilities. Finally, for the race, this one kind of varies too. You're either going to want to be using Ghoul Race if you want to stay cautious and have that really good health so you never die. Or you want to be using Mink or Human because of the really fast te teleportation with Human or the really fast movement speed with Mink. So yeah, that's basically the builds if you want to do a normal raid that's not Buddha. If you're wanting to do both of the raids and you don't want to switch between a lot of stuff, I recommend you keep the fruit, you keep the fighting style, you keep the sword, but you change the race. The race, I, if you're switching between both of the Buddha raids and the normal raids, I recommend you just stay with Ghoul Race because it's kind of tedious to change the race. But for accessories, you can kind of switch that on the fly because they're only in your inventory. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found it very informative. If you liked the video, leave a like, sub, and turn on notifications down below so you never miss another video. Join our Discord. It's down in the comment section. I have a link posted there, so if you want to join, just click that link. I want to thank you guys again for helping me reach 500 subscribers. This is absolutely amazing. Our next goal is going to be 1,000 subscribers. That's going to be a really big milestone, so if you can get there, that would be absolutely amazing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.